Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So uh, work out the volume of this sphere by summing up all the cylinders. So in the past, we would uh, we would work out the volume of a sphere by summing up all the disks. So uh, so we 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 would um, we we would then we would look at one one particular disk here. Let's look at this one here. We would rotate it 360 and then sum up all the disks. So so when 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 you look at this this one particular slice here, hang on. So when you look at this one particular slice, if you rotate it 360, it will give you uh, pi, uh, bar, pi whatever here, pi whatever here squared. That would then give you the area of the uh, of the disk, and then you would sum up all the disks. So now in this video, we're going to use a new a new technique here. Um, we would sum up all the cylinders. So um, so you, so so you we would do this here. Okay, we so as you rotate this 360 along the y-axis. Let's look at this one particular disc here. Uh, one particular uh, cylinder here. This here has um, a, a thickness associated with it. The thickness is dx. So when you rotate this 360, it will look like this. Okay, and then uh, and then all the way down. So this here has uh, the, the, you you will form yourself a um, a, a cylinder. Okay, so so sum up all the uh, all the cylinders here. So um, so work out the uh, work out the volume of this sphere by uh, by summing up all the cylinders. If you look at this, um, this so 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 you're summing up all the way from uh, from zero to uh, to R here, all the way from zero to R. So if you look at this particular cylinder here, the thickness associated with this particular one here. The, the, the thickness associated with this particular uh, cylinder here, the thickness here would be would be uh, dx, and when you rotate it 360, it would look something like this. It would look something like this, Hang on. Uh, and then and then and then basically sum up all the cylinders. So somehow work out the volume of, the, of this cylinder, and then sum up all the cylinders. Um, Rather than rather than doing all all the cylinders all, all the cylinders from from uh, from here to here, um, work out sum up all the cylinders from here to here only. So so just do it like this, okay? And then when you sum up all the cylinders along here, it will give you half of the sphere. And then right at the end, so so find out half of the sphere, and then right at the end times two. Because it's it's easier. Well, when you sum up all the cylinders here, you're really summing up. Uh, you're really summing up all, all the way from zero to uh, to R here. Okay, all the way from zero to R, zero to R. But then when when you look at one particular cylinder, um, the thickness of this, um, the, the 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 thickness of this would be uh, would be dx. But the thing is, when when you come to work out the height. When you come to work out the height, it's a lot easier to work out this height than it is to work out this height here. The point, the point I'm trying to make here is that it's easier to sum to sum up all the cylinders, work out half of a sphere, and then right at the end, uh, right at the end, um, times times half the sphere, half of the sphere by two. Okay. So uh, press pause and uh, have a go, and I will uh, give you the solution in the next video. Okay, so some you work out, um, come up with a formula for for the volume of the, of the sphere of this sphere, um, but do it by summing up all the cylinders. Okay, all right. So press pause and have a go, and uh, I will I will show you the answer in the next video. Okay.